next morning. Day three. Although you slept somewhat restlessly, you feel quite revitalized. Man, I wish I could say that in the morning. No wonder. You've been sleeping far into the day. It's way past noon. You wonder where Sarah is. Alright, let's save. Save. Ah, oh, no. We have a limited number of save files. Day three. Let's take a shower. Shower. Take a nice refreshing shower. Get a point. Put on clothes. Use laptop. Oh, same screensaver. <laughs> All right, are we ready for the day? Why do we wear the same clothes every day? All right, let's just look in everybody's room. Okay, it looks, looks, looks good. Looks good. All right, we're just checking everybody's room. Yeah, we gotta inspect our car too. Hey, here he is. Who's this guy called Ben? I thought he was called Ben. Talk to Ben. Do you, did you manage to get the oil off yesterday, Ben? Barely. So much so, I think there's still some in my hair as we speak. I can imagine. It's very tedious stuff. Damn right it is, Mike. I can see you're still busy watering that plant. Yes, Mike. Like I said before, it needs water and plenty of it. <clears throat> does it need more water still, Ben? Yes, Mike. It does. Okay. All right. Ben's... Ben's a weirdo. Like... Ben, Ben, Ben's, 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 uh, Ben's in a class of his own, I think, when it comes to weirdoness. How does this look in the original? Like, like this is, this is, this is probably, I, I would say this is probably the coolest well, one of the coolest 3D parts in the game right here. Like, the fact that we don't go between multiple screens, the screen scrolls like this. I think this is, I think this is one of the coolest 3D aspects. It was tough to merge the rooms, I can imagine. Oh yeah, I can see the rooms, well, I can see how you, how, how you, that poster is in, both of the rooms and then it's only in one of the rooms in this thing yeah that's pretty cool <laughs> no soft locks to so remember to see the that mouse getting chased by the cat on day one yeah yeah exactly nobody's in here either where is everybody there's nobody in here either I haven't eaten, I yeah. Uh, well, talk to Watson. Hey Watson, how are things? Three boxes of raisins, six boxes of chocolates. Uh, hey, hey Mike, I'm fine. What are you doing? I'm taking the list, Mike. I'm filling, I'm filing the food supplies that'll come in handy when I'm trying to decide what to cook for dinner. Well, that's a clever idea. Thank you, Mike. What is for dinner? Six cheeses, seven cans of beans. Sorry, what were you saying? Ah, uh, never mind, Watson. You gave me the answer already. Oh, did I? Oh well, could be. Er, Watson, please, Mike, let me file my supplies. Okay. All right. Hey, the cat's on the bed now. Let's see if we can pet the cat. Pet cat. Aww. I feel like I feel I feel like the person who made this who wrote the original dialogue for this game might have been might have not liked cats. Whoa. Talk to Owen. 
talk to each one. It's very he's very busy talking and hardly notices you notices you. Talk to Lisa. She's having a discussion with Owen Carter and Charles Benson and completely ignores you. Talk to Charles. Okay. Nobody, nobody, nobody wants to talk to me because they suck. Climb. What do you think's in the secret door of secretness? I mean, I'm sure. S talk to Chin. That was quite the seance yesterday, wasn't it, Dr. Lee? Yes, Mike, it was very slick. <laughs> oh, man. That's a good pun. Er, yes, it sure was. Did he just make a joke? Yes, he did, and I laughed at it. You could say that I'm very much a slick guy myself, Doctor. Ha ha ha. Excuse me, Mike? Uh, never mind. Oh, he's... Me? No, it's on the list. It's on it's on the it's on the adventure game list, Gregory. I won't play it until it gets picked and and voted. Oh my god, this place is a mess. William, are you okay? You kind of look you look kind of pale. Uh What was that, Mike? I I wasn't really listening. I'm sorry. It's okay. Tell me what's the matter. It's the oil, Mike. My father. What about your father? My father told me that the sightings he experienced back then were accompanied by oil. Ooh. Info. We got one point for info. No, I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to play it. I'm not going to play it. You mean this oil is a sign by the Eskimo ghost? That's right, Mike. I thought it was just my father's imagination, but now... You think the ghost is quite real, William? I'm afraid you're right, Mike. Er, William, I... Oil! My God, it's all true. All this oil. Just let him be, Mike. He's still quite upset. Talk to Frank. Hi, Bates. Well, this place is a mess, isn't it? Sure is, Goodman. And it really seems to have upset William here. Yes, he, he does look kind of pale. It'll be a hell of a job cleaning this place, Bates. You're right. Personally, I don't think we should bother. We weren't using this area anyway. How's the copter chopper coming along? Uh, I'm working on it, Goodman. Don't worry. There's a lot of oil here. Yes, you can say that again. Is he mad at me for crashing the hell the chopper and breaking it? Like, how could he be mad at me for that? That wasn't my fault. Is that why he's mad at me? Is he mad at me because I broke the chopper? When I wasn't even supposed to be flying it in the first place? What's his freaking problem? What a jerk. Okay, Frank's a jerk. If, that, if that's why he's upset with me. I'm gonna go outside, I guess. I think people might be outside. There's Sarah. Hi, beautiful. What? Hey, are you crying? Oh, Mike, it's just... Calm down, sweetheart. Take a deep breath and tell me what's wrong. 
I'm upset because we found out that there's a real spirit here. Shh, don't cry. Give her a kiss. That seems to calm her down a bit. Now tell me, what's the problem? Well, now that the ghost is for real, I'm afraid William Mayfield and everyone else will find out about us, Mike. What do you mean? That we're a that we're nothing more than a bunch of frauds, that's what I mean. Again, Sarah starts to cry. You put your you put your arms around her and wipe her tears away. Well, so we still don't know what's going on. It could be a fake ghost. Calm down, Sarah. Don't worry. I'll... But I do worry, Mike. Owen Carter was asking me about my p profession the other day. I told him I was in a bit of a hurry and had no time to talk. Just another lie. I know, I know. It's not easy, but I think... But think about the $10,000. That's a lot of money. I understand that, Mike, but we can surely use it. But all those lies again and again, I'm fed up with it. Don't worry, Pumpkin. This will be the last time, I promise. When we get back home, we'll move house. We'll start. I'll start my own antique shop, antique shop I told you about. I, I guess you're right, Mikey. So this will be the last time? Yes, it is. Chin up, hun. Promise? I promise. Snug. All right. Come back inside, Sarah. It's very cold out there. Here, please just leave me. I I want to I want to think things over a while. I understand. Love you. Ditto, Mikey. Let's check these barrels again. One of the barrels seems to have been opened recently. Uh, hmm. Okay. That's suspicious. That's suspicious. Just saying. That's very suspicious. I'm suspicious. I'm suspicious of the, the of things. All right, let's look. Let's look around. I don't think there's anything else we can do here. Maybe that triggered stuff to happen. So we got points. I don't think there's anything else we can do here. Probably just one of those snow raccoons. Yeah, maybe a polar bear. Maybe maybe we have some polar bears getting around drinking the oil. Or penguins. But well, this is Greenland. There wouldn't be any penguins. Open door. Take off jacket. Go into all the rooms. Okay, I already talked to Ben. Ba -ba -bum. Alright. They're still here. Hmm. Okay. Not sure what we need to do. I was gonna say, not sure what we need to do now. What was that? It sounded like a loud bump. It looked like my screen, my game was about to crash or something. Everyone, did you hear that too? You ask. A loud bump, you mean? 
Yes, we did. It was coming from the bottom of the watchtower. Lisa McIntyre says. Let's have a look, Dr. Benson says. Oh, no! Oh, God! It's Dr. Lee! He fell off the ladder! What happened? Owen Carter asks. It's, it's Dr. Lee, you say? Is he... Lisa McIntyre asks. I'm afraid Dr. Lee is dead, Dr. Benson says. That's awful, Lisa McIntyre cries out. Look, the rungs are smeared with oil, Owen Carter points out. My God, you're right. Could it be, you say? I bet it has something to do with the Eskimo spirit, Lisa McIntyre says. Now, now, let's not rush to conclusions, Dr. Benson says. There must be a logical explanation for this. What do you mean, logical explanation, Lisa, Ma Lisa McIntyre says. Surely you don't think that this oil got here through, through yesterday's incident in the lab. I mean, to say that it's not necessarily the work of a ghost, Miss McIntyre. Dr. Benson says. It looks more like an accident to me. Dr. Benson's right, Lisa. Manifestations don't kill, Owen Carter says. Manifestations surely don't spray oil, Lisa McIntyre says furiously, and she leaves the room. Later on, the remaining party members learn about Dr. Lee's gruesome death was it that gruesome? He fell down a freaking ladder. Like, I mean, do you call that gruesome? His body is transported to the test lab where it will be preserved until the chapter, the ch chopper is fully repaired for the journey home. Couldn't we just stick it outside in the snow? Oh, we put it in that cold room. Oh, okay, we put it in the cold room. That's what we do. And thus we lay his body and soul in the hands of the Lord, so that Dr. Chin, Sung Lee, may rest in peace, William Mayfield says. Amen. Does anyone want to say anything, William Mayfield asks. You've said it all, William. That was beautiful, Sarah says. Thank you, Sarah. Okay, everyone. We'll toast in Dr. Lee's honor at the bar later on let's let's go William Mayfield says the morning crowd leaves the test lab later that evening there's a short reception in Dr. Lee's remembrance after the reception everyone decides to call it a night and all go to bed the next morning day four hi darling here you are, Sarah says. Should we be up here? Or I guess we should just make sh make be very, very, very careful when we climb down the ladder, right? What? Oh, hi, Sarah. Are, are you all right? Sarah asks. I I'm fine. I'm just a bit upset over the death of Dr. Lee, you say. Yes, me too, she says. She hugs you. I'm going now. Will I see you later? Sarah asks. Yes, sure, you answer, and Sarah leaves. Okay. Look, you're in a watchtower. The view is great. Look, floor. You've got a great view up here. You see the mountains in the distance, a couple of towers that seem to be der derricks, a large satellite dish located on the roof of the station, the helicopter, and let's not forget, a lot of snow. Okay, let's... Well, let, let's save. This is day four. Climb. Let's hopefully we don't die. We didn't die. Woo! That was a close call. I was, I was, I was worried we were going to die, and we didn't die. The cat is now...
Both Watson and Snowflake are very much asleep. Why are they all asleep? Why is Watson sleeping? Let's see if he can. Is he, is he actually sleeping? Let's creep up on him. He is asleep. Okay, I'm not allowed to bother him. I'm not allowed to bother him. Hey, babe, what are you reading? Hi, Mikey. It's you. You startled me. How come? What are you reading? Some kind of journal. I, I found stuff behind a couple of books. Tell me, Sarah, what's this journal about? Well, I'm not sure, and there are a couple of pages torn out as well. Just tell me what's on the remaining pages, then. It seems someone from the previous expedition was keeping this journal. It's written by Ariel. No, a female scientist. At first, there are mainly notes about the oil drillings, but later on in the journal, she starts writing about the sighting she experienced back then. Read me the part about the sightings, will you? Okay, Mike, listen. Tuesday, once again, Dr. Livingstone and I saw the spirit that, to me, very much looks like an Eskimo. He reported it to Dr. Mayfield. We reported it to Dr. Mayfield, but he refused to believe it and told us he wasn't paying us to go around spreading fairy tales. Can't blame him, really. After two Friday, after two days of no sightings, the spirit suddenly reappeared. Some guards saw him walking through the hallways. They also told me that the spirit left a trail of oil. It must. I must say, I wasn't paying much attention to it when I saw the ghost for the first time, but now I recall there was some oil present then as well. Sunday, something horrific has happened. Poor Dr. Livingstone was crushed today by a large boulder of ice. I saw traces of oil at the accident scene. Again, I told Dr. Mayfield about it, but he was too busy to even notice me. Wednesday, for the last three days, several strange accidents have happened here. I'm getting very paranoid over all of this, and I must admit I'm afraid to even leave my quarters. All the deaths are accompanied by oil. It can no longer be coincidental. Mayfield still isn't listening. Damn that man, stubborn. Thursday, another scientist and I saw something in the hills going to investigate it. <clears throat> I'll hide his, this journal between some books somewhere and retrieve it when I get back. And that's all there is. Mike, weird. William never told us about those accidents you say. Maybe his father never told him, Mike. What's that sticking out of the journal? It it looks like some kind of poem. Here, Mike, you take it. Poem? It's a, this is a couplet. Well, that's what's there to say. Just read it. Read poem. A uh, poem. Written by Ariel No. No one will follow. I see myself and I move and I move me aside. This is how I obtain the key for the ride. What what's that supposed to mean? Roses are red, violets are blue, I'm a ghost, and I go boo. That's 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 the There you go. on the floor <laughs> it's 
<laughs> wow, that music enhanced that a lot. <laughs> then suddenly, within the sudden darkness, you hastily find your way out. My god, what the hell just happened? All the lights suddenly went out and Dr. Lee's body, did it move? I want to do that again. Let's do it again. I want my mummy. No, it, di it didn't happen again. You're in the test lab. It's pretty cold in here, so it's a good thing you're fully suited up. On the top of the stone rests the body of Dr. Lee. Look at body. Poor man, he didn't deserve to die. What's on the floor? Look at floor. Take card. Oh, we got the key card. We got the key card. Yes! Examine body. Take blanket. What? I'm just ignoring the fact that it looked like he came alive? What? I mean, what the hell? It's like, it's like it never happened. Who's this guy? Talk to, talk to man. What if I just say man? Okay. Talk to Charles. Good day, Dr. Benson. How are you? What? Oh, oh, hello there, Michael. I'm fine. Thank you. What were you pondering about, if I may ask? Oh, it's nothing really. It seems to me you're bothered about something, Doctor. <sighs> you're right, Michael. I was thinking about what Miss McIntyre said the other day. You mean about the Eskimo spirit and it being the cause of Dr. Lee's death? Exactly, Michael. I'm wondering, wondering about what, Doctor? Wondering if she's right. I personally think the death of Dr. Lee was accidental, Mr. Dr. Benson. Hmm, yes. I, I like to think so, too. He decided to change the subject to get this mind, his mind off things. What made you join this expedition, Dr. Benson? Well, young Mayfield, of course, uh, although I was a bit surprised. What do you mean by surprise, Doctor? Well, I was the family doctor for many years until Maxwell Mayfield died, and sadly, soon after, so did his wife Mary Mayfield. I... You mean William lost both his parents within such a short period of time? That's awful. Yes, it is. William mourned for many a year, and I didn't hear from him until last week. What happened last week, Doctor? William called me. He told me he was planning an expedition. This expedition. He needed a doctor to care for the sick, if any. I said yes right away. You see, I've always been quite fond of the Mayfields. Yes, I see. You're feeling a bit better, aren't you, Dr. Benson? You're actually smiling. Hmm. Yes, Michael, I was thinking about the Mayfields. It's a very adventurous family, especially young William. I'd say, Doctor, I've noticed. Taking on such an expedition is really this his, his kind of thing. He's bored very easily, you know. That doesn't surprise me at all, Doctor. Sarah and I just found an interesting journal, Dr. Benson. Oh, you did? What is it about? About the sightings. It was... Oh, yes, the sightings. I, I almost forgot about them. Dr. Benson's mind seems to wander off again. One more thing, Dr. Benson. What? Why did you say something, Michael? Oh, never mind. All right, we got a key card. Let's see if we can use it. Let's see if we can use the key card for key card things. Hey, Lars. Yeah, it's from... It's a game from 2004 that was remastered with this 3D engine, you can see the 3D effects that are happening, and it's pretty slick. Which, it's pretty slick, like the oil in this game. You get it? Slick. I mean, they already made that joke in this game, so it's not really that funny, but you know, whatever. <clears throat> All right, we better save as E card.
you know, this part of some of this reminds me of like uh, the Colonel's Colonel's B quest in the sense that it's an investigation and you pretty much trigger events and stuff like that. And 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 it it's it's working. It it works. This this method works really well. Use card. You insert the key card in the slot. You hear a click, and the small light besides the door turns green. Open door. What the hell is this? Snowmobiles. They call them snow scooters. This is the garage. There's a lot of tools here. Two snow scooters and a big generator. Look. Look. Okay. Where are these tools at? Look, tools. A lot of tools are lying or hanging around here. Take tools. These tools don't belong to you, so leave them. Look, generator. The big generator provides the electricity for station Mary. So, it seems probable that you could turn the lights out using the generator. It also seems probable that you could maybe turn the air the airflow up to maximum airflowiness to maybe put the candles out. Hmm, interesting. What's in here? Open cabinet. I mean, it's not within my power. Open door. Okay, uh, open, open. Open door, open panel. Okay. Look box. Hey, there's a few sticks of dynamite in this box. Take dynamite. You carefully take out the sticks of dynamite. Points. All right, we got some dynamite. Open door. Look. Scooter. There are two snow scooters. One is under repair at the moment. Okay. Look, tools. Alright. I think I know what to do with this dynamite. Sit scooter. Get on scooter. Maybe maybe later. Maybe later. We don't have anything to light the dynamite with, but I'm not sure if that's gonna be a problem. Why is the cook sleeping? Nikita and Claire are playing with each other. Oh, we got put on our jacket. Oh, what's Owen doing? He looks like a ninja. What's he doing? What's Owen doing? He's in a, what, what's he doing? He looks like he's, he's trying to be a ninja. Looks like he's ninjing. <laughs> Owen, what are you doing? That's what I was thinking. Be very quiet, Mike. I'm hunting ghosts. Oops, wrong button. But Owen, I... Silence, please, Mike. I might not hear the response to my knocking. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's Boo. Boo who? 
Boo hoo, I'm a ghost. Ha ha ha. Oh, it's you, Mike. Very funny. I'm sorry, Owen. Owen? Not now, Mike. Alright. Well, we got some dynamite. We got some dynamite! Hopefully, we don't explode. I'm checking all the rooms. Like, where are people who just. Like, where are they? Like, people are just gone. Is Ben eventually gonna be, be killed by his plant? Entering Dr. Lee's room makes you think back of the accident that killed him. It's a tragedy that he died in such a horrific way. He fell down a ladder! I, I don't know. I, I That doesn't seem that horrific to me. I mean, it's not good he died, but it doesn't seem horrific. Like, he wasn't disemboweled or anything. Take jacket. Alright. Back outside we go. Let's see if we can blow ourselves up with- Oh, well, hey! They're fixing the helicopter! Is that- is that Lisa? Talk Lisa. Hello, Miss McIntyre. How are you after yesterday's events? Uh, what? Oh, it's okay. Uh, yes, I'm okay. Excuse me, Miss McIntyre. She's very busy looking at Frank Bates. You leave her be. This is... She's being weird. Talk to Frank. Hey, Bates, what are you doing? I'm sorry, Goodman, what was that? I said, what are you doing? I'm doing something, uh, technical, Goodman. Sounds promising. Yeah, I guess, I guess you're right. Who's not been weird? That's true. I would say the doctor hasn't been that weird. Although, I guess he does have, uh, I guess he does have jars of deadly viruses. So, that's not true either. He's, he's weird too. You know, it seems like we're the most not weird people here. Put dino, dynamite in hole. Okay. Well, now we need to light it. Light dynamite. Ah, oh, I need, I need, I need a lighter or a match or something. Dang it. I need something to light it with. But where did I where would I find something to light it with? She's just out there creeping on him. So weird. Let's let's see what happens if I leave my jacket on. Wearing your jacket will look make you look silly. <laughs> it will make me look silly. Okay. I look, I'm good with looking silly. Okay, let's see if you can find matches or a lighter or something. Let's just say take matches. They're not yours to take, okay. Look at counter, look at counter. This is what you call a kitchen island, the combination of a cooking range, stove, oven, gas burners, dresser, and a wooden shopping board. Okay. Take matches. Okay. Take. Take. Matches. Oh. There's matches in here. I, I didn't... I wasn't fully expecting that, but okay. We found the matches. Uh, 
I was, I was just going to type take matches everywhere. Okay. I thought I did look at the shelves. Take jacket. Take jacket. I keep saying talk instead of take. Okay. Open door. How does this scene look in not 3D? It looks like this. You know, this is interesting. The last game we played on this channel was uh, The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. And it had a seamless view between the old version and the new version as well. Could he hit a button and see what the old version looked like? I'm going to try and blow myself up. Light. Oh, we can't pull ourselves up. We actually back off. We actually back up. Oh, look at the look at this. Boom. We get point. We didn't actually get points. What's this? Booming. Same it as booming. Let's see if we can fall off this. Oh yes. Oh no. We died. Man, that sure was a nice dive, Mike. You'll surely get a lot of points for that. Too bad you won't be able to collect the award. Nice. Look. The road ends here, so better watch it. The large cliff provides an excellent view though yeah it's it's a good game it's been excellent it's been excellent so far along with this excellent view what are the blue things some nice flowers are growing on its edge although the la ladder seems kind of britter brittle what do I have I have a fishing rod Use fishing rod. Aw. On flowers. Okay, I can't I can't do that. Can I go south? No, I can't go south. Okay, we gotta figure out whoops. I, I fell. Is that is that a different way to die? I don't think so. I don't think that counts as a different death. I don't think that's a different. I don't think that counts as a different death. What if I do this? Take flower. Get closer first, but be careful. Oh, oh no, I can't. I, I'm just, I'm too close. Okay, I see where the, I see where the ledge is. I don't I don't know if I can get those flowers. No, see, if I if I go any closer, I will die. If I go any closer, I will die. There are some lovely flowers here.
Keep trying. No! Oh! Man. No! Ooh. Somehow I didn't, I, I caused the thing to like loosen, but it didn't, it didn't fall. That was interesting. I'm dying a lot here. All right, I'm gonna save up here now. Save, oh, save as flowers. Look at that. Look at that. Pink flower. You carefully pick up one of the delicate flowers and put it in, your, in put it just as carefully in your pocket. Yes, we got it. We got the flower. If you go on the bottom, apparently it just collapses, but if you go on the top, it doesn't. That 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 <laughs> That's that's the that's the that's a tough puzzle, I must say. I might have given up on that one. That's one I might have given up on. Thinking I couldn't succeed. I'm gonna I'm gonna show this flower to Ben. Because he's the he's the plant guy. the hell was that was there a ghost no I didn't notice anything oh no I need to go back and and see and, and restore I didn't notice anything it's a ghost all right I got the pl did I get him no I didn't get flower all right, we got a flower. Okay. Okay, let's save again. I I want to see it again. I was I was busy uh, I was busy like celebrating my accomplishments. I, I need I need to see it again. So I didn't see it. Oh, I see a shadow up in the up in the tower. I saw a shadow in the tower. That was somewhat difficult to see. There's a shadow in the tower. Whoa. Spooky. Spooky. But I, I still want to talk to Ben about the flower. Why is it telling me I need guidance? The woman at your side is who it's usually for, but someone other than her will enjoy it even more. I was going to give it to Ben. Okay, just a note. If you speed run this game, it's probably faster to just go this way and have it automatically put your jacket up than to type it in. I don't know. It's thought on the speed run there. Where's Ben at? That's not Ben. Ben in here? No. All right. Yeah, that's true. It, it may it may not. It, it may it may not work, but that's how that's how I speed run space quest. I, I type in commands while I'm walking. 
So you could just type, uh, take off jacket while you're walking. Give flower to Ben. Okay. Ben, look what I found. Ben Green takes a glance at the flower, then his eyes widen. My God, Mike, that's a snow star. They're very rare. I've never actually seen one for real. Where'd you find it? Well, I was just walking around outside, blowing up stuff, you know. Ben Green looks at you like he doesn't know. Never never mind that, Mike. Are, are there more? Where did you find it? Just outside, close to the edge of a cliff. I'll go investigate straight. Uh, okay, Ben, but be careful. Make sure you don't slip and fall. I'll be careful and thanks. Was that a good idea? I, I think we messed up. <laughs> like, he's gonna go out there and he's gonna kill himself, isn't he? he he's gonna get himself killed. I think Ben I think Ben has just got himself killed. I think I think Ben we should now go to the tower, I guess. Because we saw that shadow in the tower, right? Maybe we should talk maybe we should find see if Sarah's in the room. See where Sarah is. Oh she's not here. What, in, in the room where Ben was? Oh, did his plant, like, not... Was his plant... Is his plant not happy now? Is Ben's plant unhappy? I think, I think Ben's plant's probably unhappy because he stopped watering it, right? Where is this... Where is this plant? Oh, yeah. There's stuff on the floor now. I don't seem to be able to take it, so. All right, well, I'm gonna go to the tower. My plan was to go to the tower. I'm going to the tower. Go into the tower. This isn't the, that's not the tower. The tower's over here. Okay. Let's, let's save. Tower time. Stay, climb. Pretty close. Look. All right, no, nothing in here. Nobody in here. Okay. Cook is still sleeping. Okay. Everything, everything looks fine. Everything, everything's fine. Everything's, everything's fine. Everything looks, everything looks, looks okay. We're gonna go to the bathroom. And wash our hands, like, because we are we are we are we are we are clean people. What? Someone or something needs picking on. What is that supposed to mean? Okay, I think I think I know what they mean. 
think maybe we can pick that fruit now. Yes, okay, we can we can pick the fruit now. That is indeed what it means. I thought that might be the case, but I didn't go for it. So apparently if he doesn't constantly water, so apparently by constantly watering this plant, he makes it a murder machine. And the instant he stops watering that plant, it's not a murder machine anymore. Look in cage. You shiver when you look at the red ants swarming around in their farm. You never were enthusiastic about ants. That piece of fruit. It's a very ripe piece of fruit from the tree. Although it looks quite delicious, you better not eat it. It's rather poisonin. 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 Is there a key in there? Um. Reach in cage. Uh, look, cage. Take ants. Open cage. No. Like, I thought there might be a key in there or something, you know? Um. Look at ants. Okay, I, I don't know what this fruit's good for at the moment, but I guess we'll look table. On the table is an ant farm and some plants, okay? Look at farm. You shiver when you see the red ants swarming around their farm. You never were enthusiastic about ants. Okay, well, all right, cool. We got, we got, we got a fruit, whatever that's worth. Yeah, we got some fruit. We are now fruit rich. Whoa, who's that? There's more oil. I know, it's super 3D, isn't it? It's the 3Dest game I've ever played. You know, if only had we had cameras, you know, in this place. Oh, people. Talk to William. That's not how you spell William. That's still not how you spell William. Hey, William. Hi, Mike, sorry, but I've got no time to talk right now. I'm busy making plans with Dr. Benson here. Oh, that's okay, William. I'll talk to you later. Sure thing, Mike. Talk to doctor. Good day, Dr. Benson. Good day, Michael. My, you look rather pale. Have you been sleeping well? I manage, doctor. Be it barely. And hey, Wasabi, how are you doing? Hmm, just remember to listen to your body, Michael. Give it the rest it needs. I will, Doctor, thanks. Doctor, I, Michael, I enjoy our little talks, but now is a bad time. I'm making plans with you. Plans? What kind of plans? What kind of plans? Evil plans? Or, 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 or what? You think Sarah's gonna make it out of this alive? Oh, the guy's gone. The cook's the cook's not sleeping anymore. 
Is he in here? Oh yeah, there he is. What's he doing? Hi Watson, what are you doing? Hello Mike, I'm unpacking this box of aprons. Ah yes, I see. How many aprons do you need? That's nice, Mike. You seem to have a lot of aprons, Watson. No cook can do without them, Mike. Keep up the good work, Mike Watson. Right on, Mike. All right. Oh, here, here's Sarah. Talk, Lisa. You completely, they, they happen to be, you happen to overhear some of, some words of their conversation. It's obvious about you and, it's obvious about you and about Frank Bates. You sigh and shake your head. It's obviously about you and about Frank Bates. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I gotcha. Should we go check out Ben to see if he's dead? Should we check to see if Ben's dead? Here's 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 Owen. What's he doing? Hey Owen, what are you doing? I'm taking notes, Mike. I'm trying to make a profile of our ghost. What have you come up with so far? Well, I must say this apparition is one of the stranger kinds, Mike. What do you mean? How shall I put it? It's the first time I've ever saw a ghost make actual physical contact. You're talking about the oil, I presume? Yes, and I'm not quite sure what to think of Dr. Lee's death, either. I see what you mean, Owen. What further actions were you planning on taking, Owen? William Mayfield and I decided to organize another seance tonight, so please be there. I will, Owen. Speaking of William Mayfield, how did you two meet? Well, I learned of William Mayfield's plans to go on this expedition and that he was busy as busy assembling a crew. When I heard there was an actual ghost involved, I kind of invited myself. How did you do that? I visited a charity ball organized by the Mayfield Welfare Foundation. There I talked to William about his mission and about my profession as a paranormal investigator. At first he wasn't convinced. I should participate, but I talked my way onto it. And here you are. Yes, Mike, here I am. He just kind of like saw us in a bar, overheard a conversation, and invited us. Like, you know, he, he, we, that's, Nikita, get out of there. It seems a little bit suspicious, our invitation even. Our invitation seems suspicious. Have you finished your notes already, Owen? No, not yet, Mike. It'll be a while, I suppose. I'll leave you to your writing then. Thank you, Mike, I appreciate it. Like, we're at, we're at 166 points already. There's an hour left? Oh, we're not gonna be able to finish it then. I, I don't think I can, I think I don't think I can do a whole hour. I don't think I can do an hour. I have like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go check on Ben. We may finish it tomorrow then, early. Take jacket. There's an hour. Yeah, I can save it. For, I just want to check on Ben while I'm thinking about it. See if Ben, Ben, Ben killed himself. Obviously on accident. 
You think there's a real, you think there's a real ghost or it's a Scooby-Doo ghost? What do you think? Real ghost or Scooby-Doo ghost? And all, all, well, Ben isn't dead. He's not dead. Let's see if we can get another flower while we're here. Can we get another one? No. That was a different death. That was a different death animation. Does that count as a different death? I mean, it was falling, but when they said there are 12 deaths, does that count as a different death or the same death? They can't get out of there. I don't know. I don't know if that counts as different death or not. Ben hasn't killed himself. That's that's good to know. I don't know where he is. Like, where'd he go? I don't see Ben anywhere. We wonder where Ben is. Where is Ben? We told him where where to go. I find it weird that my my boots are white. Nikita, stop doing that or I will spray you again. Yeah, it does have 16 colors, that's true. I mean, I don't know what other color you can make him. I guess you could make him brown. But... They just blend in so Maybe that's the point. They blend Hey, they're gone. They're not doing their helicopter stuff anymore. Open door. Alright, I think we're gonna stop here. Let's, 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 let's not look silly, though. Ben Green is dead. Glass ant farm lay shattered on the bed and the ants are crawling all over the place. No doubt, this time, it's murder. 